Hey man, we here with Kareem Hart here to Mayfield. Right on, Kareem. Hey man, congratulations on your victory, man. Thanks for having me there, man. Oh yeah, man. You know, it was a good look, man. Thanks for being through. You know, and uh, shit, man, I'm looking to put on another show uh, sometime in June back in the Bay Area, San Francisco, California. Oh, you know I'm there, man. Yeah. All right, man, what you got going on since your uh, victory, man? The sister victory, man. You know, um, I've been uh, stayed in the gym. I was actually offered an opportunity to be able to fight on the uh, WBC um, uh, Holyfield t- uh, Tournament. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm going to seize the moment. That fight is actually uh, April 27th. Um, and um, man, I look to put on. All right, hey Kareem. So, what you think of Keyshawn's performance, man? I know you was here, you know, checking Kareem out. I know he under your wing. So, what did you think of his performance, man? Man, he looked well, man. You know, um, it's, always, it's always something that you can work on. I see more jabs out of him, but uh, he's certainly picking up um, a lot of um, the things that he's been achieving to him. And uh, you know he's he's looking he's looking sweet, man. And uh, what can I say? He's in uh, good condition, and you know he, he wakes up before he, uh, he wakes up and runs before he goes to school in the morning. Stay in school, and uh, you know he's doing his thing, man. I'm just happy that uh, I can be able to be a mentor to a, a kid that's um, very, um, you know, um, that listens well and. That's um, able to uh, take on and uh, take up everything that I'm doing to him. Well, you know, one thing I've seen about him so far, man, he's committed to this. He's hungry. He wants it, man. And that's what I like, man. That's what I like seeing in these young kids. Do you think that's what's missing? You know, you got a lot of these boxers. They want to be rappers. They want to do everything except commit to boxing. And you have Keyshawn. He seemed like he he's serious about that. What I mean, when you can... When you want to pursue a career in boxing, do you think it's important that you put it all in instead of worrying about distractions outside of boxing? Do you think to be a successful boxer, you have to 100% commit to the sport of boxing? Yeah, certainly. You know, I hate to use the cliche that you um, you don't play boxing, but it's absolutely true. You know, um, you don't play boxing. You play every other sport, but boxing, boxing is serious. There's no one that can come in and do timeouts. There's no um, half times. So, you know, you got to be all in. You got to be all committed. And um, there's no team to be able to come in and substitute for you. So, as I mentioned, you do have your team that's going to be prepared. But when you're in the ring, it's mano a mano. So, um, you have to dedicate your whole being into boxing, to the sport of boxing. Unless you're doing it as a, as a hobby, um, you know, just to keep in shape. Other than that, that's all you got. All right, hey Kareem, uh, one quick question because I know uh, you you busy. Uh, give me your prediction on tonight's fight, Var- Vargas versus Adrian Broner. How you think this fight gonna turn out? Man, Vargas versus Adrian Broner. You know, um, I never had the opportunity to work with um, with uh, uh, Broner, but uh, I had an opportunity to work with um, uh, Vargas uh, for a whole camp, just me and him going mano in mano at top rank gym, and uh, the dude is fire. The dude. Um, is a great fighter, and um, I actually see him beating uh, Vargas. And you know, um, somebody after my fight had um, seen me doing a lot of shit here to fight, and um, somebody from AP Promotions had wrote a comment on my page, um, some along the lines of that you weak or you're a bum or something of that nature. And I say, in that case, after Vargas beat you, you want to come back fight? Let's do it, bro. I've been on your line, AB, since you disrespected the homie Tupac. Rest in peace, Tupac, man. Hey, look, once you disrespect your Tupac and his family, I messed with his family, Tug, not only you from the West, you know what I mean? I remember I messed with his family, man. It's a core, it's real tough, man. But uh, nevertheless, man, if the boys beat you up, you want to come back fight? Come and get it, man. I'm-